Dolphin stars Tua Tagovailoa and Taryn Armstead are trying day by day to make a comeback. But all efforts were negated by conflicts with coach McDaniel. Now, they are predicted to end the season soon, it's time for the Miami Dolphins to panic, there's no way to rationalize defeats against completely mediocre teams. Downfalls at a crucial moment extended the Dolphins' list of losses for weeks, and while there's a lot of blame circulating around, the biggest share has to go to their best. Most veteran and most expensive players, who have collectively brought the Dolphins so few Sundays. Japan, injuries, which everyone is talking about, have certainly played a big part in this difficult season. In the most important series of the season, the Dolphins were without QB1 and QB2, four of their five starting defensive backs, down to a three or four left tackle, we lost the number in at the moment, and with them the two highest paid passers, Bradley Chubb and Emmanuel Ogba, are also unavailable due to injury. That's a worst-case scenario from a health standpoint. Xavier Howard, Taryn Armstead and Bradley Chubb all tried but failed, to ensure a successful season, general manager Chris Greer, coach McDaniel tried to find a replacement QB, but their efforts were met with harsh criticism from the stars, that leads to undue tension in Mike's relationship with the star duo Tua and Taryn. When egos are too big, not to accept grinding crotch on the bench. Now, most likely, the season is over for them. In the latest statement, McDaniel insists that the star couple Tua and Taryn are not impregnable at the Dolphins. It was the GM that came and told me we were 0-3 with it, he said. Those guys would obviously help any team, their contribution, but it's not, their shutdown doesn't make us lose a tournament. I thought we had all the ability to win all the games, and we didn't, McDaniel was right. The Dolphins took a 14-7 lead in the third quarter, even if those big money players were eliminated. But things started to unravel from there, starting with Teddy Bridgewater's pick of six players, who both put the Patriots ahead and ended the day in reserve quarterback, Bridgewater, who started for a concussion to a tug of Iloa, injured a finger on his pitcher when trying to make a tackle and was unable to continue. That makes Skylar Thompson Miami's only fit quarterback, what follows is almost inevitable. Thompson is not ready for this moment. And he didn't get much help, the Dolphins had to hope that belated success could spark confidence and motivation in Thompson. He will most likely be the only one left, starting in the remaining games of the season, when you're in trouble, when you can't get through it, you feel like you've got a monkey on your back, and that's something that we have to keep going through, keep fighting, and get through Thompson. Speak. That started with me, and I take a lot of responsibility for this.